go for all this stuff. Okay. I just know you've been utilizing this for a while longer than we have. Yeah. Well, there's, yeah. So, so anyway, that's that's the uh, that's the script that I'm I'm using and I'm talking to my clients about, and I'm 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 just trying to get them to, you know, what I'm doing, you know, because one of the questions that you asked, and I'm going to put the the questions in the chat box that you sent me over. All right. So, what is the sales script for calling new clients when you use the? So, I just kind of went over that. You know, yeah, what so, the, okay. you, you don't charge them anything for the video, do you? I don't. I don't initially, but here's the thing. I'm giving. Okay, if I'm using this as kind of a lead gen or like a foot in the door strategy, then I. That's what I do. Okay. I mean, I'll. If if it's if it's an existing client, I'll use it as kind of like a you know saving the relationship type strategy. If it's an existing client. Um, if it's an if if I'm in that situation, if a client's already happy with us, then what I'll do is I'll say, you know, we'll do this for you, um, but in return, I want you know two referrals. I want I want three referrals from you, you know, by you know within two weeks, you know. Um, if if it's but I can also use it as a foot in the door strategy, in order to just you know I mean just hammer on the phone, calling local business owners. Showing them an example of one that I've done with somebody else, and saying, "Look, this is what I want to do with you. It's we're we're going to create a video with you that you've always wanted to create about your business. You know, we're gonna we're gonna create that video for you, okay? And here's examples of some of them that we've done. And um, so that is that's the primary way that I'm kind of you know using it. I'm I'm talking, you know, I'm talking to them about you know what the value is, obviously, and you know, if it's if, but if it's an existing client, I mean, I'm you know I'm asking them for referrals. I mean, that's the deal. You know, I'm not just doing this. If they're not paying me for it, then I'm I'm getting referrals. But typically, the way I'm I'm charging for it is a thousand dollar setup, okay. And included in that is the obviously the recording of the video, consulting with them on how to shoot these videos so that they look good and effective. Obviously, you know things like you know keeping the the uh, the video camera eye level, having proper lighting, um, the whole nine yards. I mean, there's there's a I'm I'm actually going to templatize this, and I'm creating a a thirty to forty five minute video that I can just send out to the client so that they can you know set up their Google their Google Plus account. They can already connect with me. They can circle with they can circle me so that we're ready. You know, with their lighting, with their video camera, with everything that they need. You know, putting placing the camera correctly so that they so that there's some context behind them. If they're a dentist, you know, I want to make sure that they've got you know a dental chair behind them, etc. So there's some context to the video. If they're if they're you know if they're a dentist, I want to make sure they're wearing wearing their white coat so that people can associate them as being a dentist. Um, all those little details are going to be in this video that I'm going to flip over to the client so that this is all systematized. It's all it's it's a process. Um, what else? Uh, but oh, so so the thousand dollars is what I charge for the setup, and then it's it's um, what we're doing is is we're we're we can make it just as simple as an FAQ. In other words, send us over ahead of time. That's part of the initial video that I'm sending out. Is um, you know what are the most frequently asked questions that people ask you on a regular basis, and then what I'll do is I'll interview them in that. You know, five in that 15 to 20 minute time frame, and get and capture the answers to those questions. Generally speaking, you know, when I'm when I'm telling them up front is is that I want to make sure that they're talking for about you know two to three minutes per question, and that it, the reason why or, or less, like actually one to two minutes, and that the whole goal is is so that I can keep it compact and so that I can get that. That viewership that I want, because as you know, I mean, you know, we want to keep our videos like under two minutes or a minute and a half if we can. Um, the other thing is, is you know, I also want enough content so that we can create a blog post from that video, right? Because as you know, I mean, the, the biggest challenge that we have at, in the SEO world is is getting content, you know. And this is a very the the best thing about this is this solves that problem. It makes it it makes it so that they're getting that TV style value. There's huge value, perceived value in what we're doing because, again, they're creating the video they always, want, they always wanted to create that they've never been able to do without a big production. And we're also getting content 
quickly and easily. In a 15 minute period, we're able to create six months worth of content for them. Or maybe, you know, depending on how often you, you spread that, con or how frequently you, you send that content out, I mean, we can create, you know, five to seven blog posts from the five to seven FAQs that we, that we ask them. Does that make sense? It does. A combination of kind of questions one, two, and three that I sent over is, okay, you get the person on the phone, you get them to agree to do this video, you do the video, how do you turn them into a paying customer? How do you turn them, okay. Well, was, like say good. you're using this video as like an icebreaker, you put it up on YouTube, you put it up with their business name, you throw a couple links at it, it now ranks for their business name, now you want to go back to them to try to break them down into a keyword package. Do you guys do it like that or are you just yes. trying them on the videos? Yes, no, we, we absolutely, the whole goal for this is to put a call tracking number on the videos and on the blog posts and you know, so, a la mongoose met metrics type thing so that, or you know, analytic call tracking, so that you can make sure that you're tracking, you know, where the people are coming into the the, the website from, and so that you're tracking exactly the number of the phone calls that they're getting, so you can attribute a an ROI to what they're to what they're doing. Um, but how do you turn them into a paying customer? That's that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get. I think what you're asking is, is how do you get them on a residual, right? Yeah, I didn't know if you guys were using this video step process in order to get people into residual monthly paying customers. Absolutely, that's the whole goal. I mean, we're trying to get them to, we're not, we're just trying, we are getting them to pay anywhere between $500 and $1,000 a month to get the, because what we're doing, I mean, you know, I mean, we're, we're getting five videos and five blog posts ranked for five different keywords. So we're targeting that video and the blog post for Okay, so we're, we're, we're creating the, the, the five, let's say it's five, okay, we're just doing, let's just keep it, same number. So we're, we're creating a long hangout video that's, let's say, you know, 12 minutes long because there's going to be a little intro, there's going to be a little outro, a little summary at the end, but generally speaking, every, uh, what, so let's say all the FAQs are two minutes in length. So that's 10 minutes worth of actual FAQ answers and then two minutes for the intro and the outro. So about 12 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes total. Um, now, what we're doing is, is, we're, is obviously we're cutting that, you know, those five FAQs into five different videos. We're ranking them for five different keywords, and we're also creating a blog post and embedding that, that cut up, shortened video into the blog post, which, as you know, helps, helps rankings because we're targeting the exact same keyword with that video as we are the blog post, okay? So you get that added, you know, SEO mm -hmm. value there. And then we're, we're targeting with, we're also targeting that, that blog post using, and we're also leveraging the authorship code so the, the person's picture will show up. So we're getting it to stand out even more, but we're gonna, the, the goal is, is to get one video and one blog post to show up for one keyword, and that, we're, we're doing that five times. Makes sense. Now, all are right. you doing all of these videos inside your YouTube account? And that's the other question that you had is you can have as many people in a YouTube account as you at any, any given time, Roger. I mean, have you had a problem with that? Well, I mean, we, you'll say we've, so we can have like three people all logged into the same YouTube account. Yeah. They can't all be doing Google Hangouts at the same time. No, no, you can't, but you can, you can have them all logged into the same YouTube account. You can have one person doing, using the video editor and one person you, doing the, the Hangout. Okay. Yeah. And that's the other thing that we do. That's a little bit of our, you know, that's a little bit of our secret sauce is, is that we, you know, we use the YouTube video editor to actually edit the videos. It's, we, it's just simple. It's easy. I like using what Google gives us because I think there might be added benefit to keeping everything in the system. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, um, you know, if we, if we create one long 15 minute video, the typical way that we do this is we actually, I, I create the asset. My asset is Business Trends TV. So if you go, and, and by the way, you know, there's a lot of extra value that you can create in this is that in, in that now with the YouTube One channel, you can, what's happening is, is see the big problem up until about, a, until about three weeks ago, until YouTube One came out, um, you were not able to send somebody to a, per, a permalink, like an actual permalink for your, for your hangout. Okay. And so, but now with the one channel, you can actually send somebody to your, to your actual permanent link for all of your Hangouts. And that's very powerful because it really turns Google Hangouts into almost like a go-to meeting or a go-to webinar. Okay. Because for the first time, you're able to send out a link 
and all you need to do is create an event and, and associate a time to when the person needs to be at that link and then you've got, in essence, you've got a go-to meeting. Okay. Does that make sense? How do they chat with you then? Do you have to use a different plugin on that page for a chat feature? Yes, and I've and I've I actually am. am uh, I don't know how big your list is, but I've got one one thing that I'm I'm looking to do is I'm looking to put thought leaders like yourself together with uh, a friend of mine that has developed a freaking amazing system that is go to meeting meets hangout. It literally. It's it's the way he's promoting all of his products now. It's revolutionized the way he's done everything. He used to do everything via webinars and it's the typical way that everybody else every, everybody's done things. But now what he's done is he's created an app that cause that allows people to register within his app. And what he does is he sends out a link and the person actually has to give you their username and their email and their name. And it's it's just like GoToMeeting. So they get they they get uh, what what it does is it allows you to have con much more control because you have control over the chat function um you you know so you're sending you have it's like i said it, it really it gives you the added ability to to do a lot of things that you can do in go to meeting that you can't currently do with hangouts no, yeah, um, i like the registration chat and all that yes okay so is that app open to the public yet no it's not it's a system that he's developed but that's something that that you know that we have have kind of brain we've you know we've masterminded on and we I saw you know six months ago we were at, you know what's funny is is actually the last time that I that I remember talking to him specifically about this was when I was at the the uh, I don't know I, it was at the um, the mega partnering I was I was outside of one of the meetings and we were talking about how we've got to come up with a software and so that's how long he's been working on it and he, and it's it's working amazingly we we used it with. Um, a client that we did a live hangout with. It was a, a spa that wanted to promote a specific product that he was offering. So we came in live and we sent out the link you know, to his list and the people had to register. And in order to actually get a, a discount for being live on the hangout, they had to show up and they had to give their name and email and, um, and actually redeem a coupon live you know during the actual hangout so you had interaction I mean it's it's literally it's it's like you know live TV meets infomercial meets I mean it's you know it's it's crazy so that's the kind of stuff that that can be done now and that's you know we've we've developed like I said a an app or an application that plugs into um, you know the Google hangout system just like this I don't know if you've seen this on-air meetings thing that I that I showed you there's a there's another there's an app that you can use that allows you to do things like this. You see the Yeah, I've got I downloaded that. I watched some webinars over the last week. Okay. This is this is a uh, this is if you go to onairmeetings.com forward slash app. Yep. Did you get that one? Yep. Okay. So that is a really powerful way to kind of separate yourself from, you know, the rest of the crowd. Um, you know, the other thing is is that um, let's see. So that's it. I mean, I, I get, let me just go back to your chat. I mean, I think. Well, like the one, number five, what is your biggest challenge to growth right now? What is limiting you from ha saying having a thousand clients if you wanted it? Uh, just hiring new, getting new people. I mean, I was just talking to, um, you know, to my, my girlfriend Darcy about this weekend. We we're kind of brainstorming. She's, she's had a lot of, you know, Darcy, she's had a lot of, ex a lot of success in her, in hiring people specifically, I mean, she, you know, I have not had as much success. So, I'm, I'm gonna actually, I've, uh, <laughs> I've bribed her by saying, look, you know what? Basically, I'll take you on a trip to uh, to Bali, um, for if if we can uh, if we can get this ha if we can get this to happen, to where we, you know, we can. I I want five people just like she got for her for her company. I mean, she got these. Um, you know these phenomenal uh, employees that are local college graduated students that are that just get it. You know they're sharp, they're young, and you know she's whittled it down to the top two over the past you know nine months. And so that's that's what I'm going to do. I mean I need that. I mean I've got a great client admin. I've got a great fulfillment person, as you you know you and I know because we've gone back and forth with our with our meetings we've had in the past. I mean that's where I'm at right now. I just need more people. I can't even get out. 
you know, invoices right now. I can't talk to the referrals that I've gotten um, because I, you know, I'm I'm getting bogged down with just you know with the fulfillment part of it, and I need good people to do the fulfillment. And then let me ask you, so if you're doing, say you call up a client and you want to do this interview with them, they're not tech savvy, they don't have Gmail, they don't have Google Hangouts, they don't have any of this stuff, do you just do the interview over the phone and then like put his phone on speakerphone next to your desk so that you can hear the responses? Yeah, I can, I, I, I will absolutely do that. I mean, that's one of the things that um, I, I, I do. Um, well, if I want, like for example, I mean, I got to preach, I got to practice what I preach, you know, because one of the things you asked is, is what are the services that I sell? Primarily, what I what I sell is reputation management and marketing, um, and you know, when, in in doing that, I also leverage Hangouts to capture reviews from my customers when or my customers' customers when I'm after I'm done interviewing them. So that's part of the service that I'm offering is is that I'm actually saying, look, you know what? At the end of this Hangout, if you've got some customers that are around that you think would want to give you a great interview, then at the end. You know, let's interview them and let's let's get that let's get that captured. Let's get that you know that review or that testimonial captured. Um, but um, you know, well, how... let me ask you, that that brings up a question. That's a great idea. So, say I wanted to call up some of my customers and get them to do a review in a format like this. How do I then get that review posted onto like my Google Business Places or Google Business page? It's simple. I mean, to answer your question before though, yeah, I mean, one of the fastest ways that I do it is I just call them up. I mean, and I can show you exactly. You know what? I can't do it. Wait. You know what? I can. Let me show you. Hold on. Okay. So I go right here. I go to invite more people. Okay. You seeing that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this one. You know what? Actually, maybe it's because I'm in. I'm on air. I've never seen that before. If um, that's weird because usually when I in the beginning. When I initiate a hangout, there's a button right below here that says "Call somebody." Yeah, there's. You can ask Craig. He spent like 12 hours since Friday researching that. That disappeared with the latest update. Yeah, the new update got rid of it. No, you you can you can call some. You can if you do. Just have you tried just to do a regular hangout? We've tried everything. TechCrunch and a bunch of people came out with articles yesterday that saying that feature was removed. I think Google's going to add it back, but it's gone right now. Really? Yeah. If you do a normal hangout, which isn't on air, you can have someone phone into your voice, your Google Voice number. That's the only way. All right, I'm back. So you said you said if it's if it's not on air, Craig. Yeah, if you do a normal Google Hangout, I tested everything yesterday for hours. Um, if if you had a Google Voice number, you can call that number and then join. You can answer it as a normal Hangout, but not a Hangout on air. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. So you yeah you you can actually do a Hangout. On, that's not on air, and you can and some and you can call somebody, correct, or is it, or no? Yeah, I could I couldn't find the option for calling. I do know it was meant to be when you press invite people. There's meant to be an ad telephone or ad phone number, but that wasn't there yesterday. And TechCrunch said the only thing you could do to get around that was having someone call you. It seems okay. Google have removed that option. Oh, yeah, but okay. if they, when they call you, you mean on the phone, not into the Google Hangout, correct? Well, they can call you on your Google, Google Voice number, and then you open it via your Google Plus page, and it opens the tag yeah. So someone that doesn't have Google Plus, doesn't have Gmail, you can give them the, your, Google, your Google Voice number. They can call it, and they can be on the Hangout? Yep. Yeah, but just not on air. So you, can you record it? I haven't found a way. Not on so? air. Not on air, but what you could do is you could just snag it. You could use snag it or Camtasia okay. to record your Yeah, I, I was thinking of Camtasia and then chopping it yourself or even uploading it fully to YouTube and then using the editor then. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, yeah. But, you know, what I – I'm just trying to think. I mean, there – I mean, so the, you know, the way around that is is just to have somebody download the app and then just you know, you know, contact their, you know, send them a an invite and then have them, a, you know, connect to you on their smartphone um, via, you know, via the via the app. Um, but anyway, 
Uh, let's see. I lost my I lost my questions because I didn't hear. Hold on. Yeah, I think you've gone through most of the questions already. Okay. Um, I did have a question about your implementation process. I know you used to have like um, smart sheets for it. Yeah. But I don't really. I think our, our, I, I, we have our process. I was trying to get a feeling for how you use this and how you leveraged it into getting them to pay. I see. Our plan was is to do the video, put it up there with their name and telephone number. We had not put call tracking into it yet. Uh, I guess we can do that. And then once it's ranking on Google, tell them to go to Google and search, and they'll see that we have our video there. Then we can try to start selling them into services. I don't know if I'm making my sales funnel too long. Yeah. Oh, by doing that, by doing all that, you're saying? Mm-hmm. Well, you just you're you're worried that it's going to take too long. Not necessarily worried. I just I don't know that it's ideal. I mean, I've never done a lot of local. I've always been big national campaigns. But the trend is local, and it's much easier to add a bunch of local clients than it is to get these expensive monthly national clients. Yeah, yeah. So you're, yeah. Um, so what's your, so what's your question? Is I mean, this probably gives a two to four week sales funnel to the front end by doing it like this. Is that typical of your funnel? Um. If if you're going to lead with a hangout, then yeah, I guess it, it would it would take. But you know, it wouldn't take long for you to, you know, I mean, if you're going to use it as, a, it depends on how you're using it. Like I said in the beginning, I mean, if you're using it as lead gen, um, then it, it it wouldn't take long to just create the, you know, create the hangout. There's going to be a lot of perceived value just by you, you know, taking the time to interview them that's over a I hangout. Think too. I mean, Plus, that's just, if we want to turn them into a paying client, we already have all the content to do all the other videos, the landing pages, all that kind of stuff. It's already there. Yeah, I mean, that's only if you're. You know, if you're gonna just, you know, go. That's that's if you're gonna go full blown. I mean, that's that's what you do for the the people that they refer to. You know, that they refer to you for that are paying customers that you want to get on a on a monthly. All right. Um, Tell yeah. me more about the YouTube One TV channel. Uh, YouTube One is 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 very interesting. I mean, it's it you get much more space. I mean, if you look at it, I mean, you can just and and that's the other thing is that you know you can go. Um, to YouTube, type in YouTube one, and you'll see exactly. Yeah, you can. You're adding YouTube, so you can go. You can um, here. Yeah. Um, the the great thing is, is that you can you can see what Google's doing. Is they're um, they're actually creating a much more <coughs> user friendly web page like i mean it is like a it's like your it's like a website now google i mean youtube has made their their channels now look and behave like a website it is it is they're clean you can add buttons at the top you can actually add links into your actual banner the banner is much bigger it's actually made for tv you can see where they're going with this i mean this is, it's it's like it's like Google and YouTube are, are, are definitely setting the trend here for, for now for, for everybody to have their own TV station and that their TV station is going to be their channel and their channel is just, it's just, it's, it's really, it's beautiful. I mean, it looks, you know, the banner is, is it, it's like quadrupled the size of the banner. You can, you have so much more space there that you can put in like, you know, celebrity pictures and, you know, you can, you can get all, you can get really creative with, you know, with that entire space that you have there. Um, and the layout, I like a lot better. It, it's got a, you know, one featured video that you play. Um, are, are you adding, are you, were you going to add a video here to this? To this I, YouTube? I, I, I can't because the Gmail address that I'm under is uh, banned from YouTube. Oh. I should have used a different email address. <laughs> Um, let's see, YouTube one, one direction, uh, I could, I could, YouTube one, um. I've, I've been playing around with YouTube today, I think I saw a lot of this, so. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how to derive as much. As, as much what? Go ahead. I'm trying to derive as much value from each effort from everything that we do. Yeah. As much value. Well, I mean, I, I don't know what you guys are. What I know you guys are doing, like big, you know, large accounts. I mean, your big accounts that you're already working with, Roger. 
are going to see huge value in this. I and mean, this is going to be a no-brainer for you to be to to do. I mean, when you combine this with the authorship code, you know, because really what we're trying to do is we're we're not only trying to uh, you know, give get these get our clients more customers, but we're doing our best to create the, to make them the authority in their niche. Mm -hmm. And YouTube and Google are making it they're like giving us a roadmap for that. They're giving they're like laying down the breadcrumbs for us because now you've got a channel that you can create that looks like a TV made station that now your your clients can have and I mean it, you talk about making them look like a Fortune 500 company. I mean this is this is what's going to do it. And then when you combine that with the ability to make one person from that that large corporation potentially the spokesperson I mean you know through the authorship code and and building the credibility of the company through you know you know getting that that picture to show up and and further differentiating them from the rest of the crowd by getting that picture to show up the authorship code picture with their actual website link and their Google their Google Plus page and and all the other things that you can do with it I mean that's you know it just you know, you got to just leverage all that. That's where you're going to get a lot of value. All right. Is there anything else that you want to tell us about Google Hangouts or your front end part of your sales funnel? Um, well, I told you it's it's you know the the other the other thing is just using um, Lead Kahuna. Okay. Yeah, we've been using that. What do you think? I, we're exporting it into Excel, uploading it into Salesforce. Yeah. I wish okay. we got more email addresses, but I don't think we can control that. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean that's that's the you know, the other thing that we do is is that we generate the email, but we also send out a letter. Um, that definitely gets us more phone calls. Um, we send out a letter and we follow up with a phone call. We, you know, so we send out the letter, we send out the email the same day we send out a letter, and then Five to seven days later, we we follow up with a phone call. So let me ask you this: If you pull from Lead Kahuna and you don't have an email address, what do you do to typically try to find it? Uh, I have my team actually go and they'll go to Facebook. They'll go wherever they have to in order to find the you know, the correct information to scrub the list. Okay. All right. Well, this was a lot of good information. You gave us a lot of stuff, Craig. Do you have any questions? Back on. No, I've taken out about two pages of notes. Um, let me think. I think is there an, there's an app there called Cameraman. Would that be a good one for con controlling who's seen on the video? Yes, it is. It's <clears throat> that's what I was I was gonna actually. I think I, I popped up. Um, so you can see as guests join, hide their audio video from my broadcast. I mean that that does allow you to you know control mm -hmm. a little, get get a little bit more control of who you can hear. You can mute people. Um, it definitely is uh, another, you know, another great feature. The one thing that that is a challenge right now with Google Hangouts is that it seems like the only, because this is where it really gets powerful, is is, is the mobile applications of it. Um, because you know, obviously, I don't want to use my my MacBook Pro or even you know my slim, you know, the the, the new, you know, the the thin MacBook books, you know, just because, you know, I have to use. A, a laptop. I have to use the the full version of Google Hangouts. Not I, I can't. The frustrating thing right now is that we can't use our smartphones in order to go uh, go live on a on a Hangout on air. Um, you can. It sounds to me like right now, and the research that I've done is that you can you can actually start doing uh, mobile. You can do mobile Hangouts on air on Android phones. Um, so, but you can't do it on the iPhone or the iPad as of yet, which okay. is. So that's something that's that. I'm sure it's coming. Yeah, but um, but yeah, yeah, the cameraman feature is is a good is a good feature to uh, to use. The only the only other question I had was when it with regards to questions. If you're asking five different questions for the keywords, what way do you use best to if you are splitting the video into the five different questions? Is there like a kind of gap in time you'd take, you know, in making the videos look generic as a one question? Does that make sense? Making them look generic. What do you mean, like, like making sure that I have adequate space for the editing? You mean in between questions, or yeah, to basically, if if we were editing them into five single videos, so that it doesn't start midway through another conversation, or 
something. It's hard to explain it. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I, the I biggest can't. problem Craig's having is it takes forever to edit these videos using YouTube Editor. Is there an easier way to do this? Um, it, if you, that, well, yeah, you could download the video and you can use, you know, Camtasia. My my fulfillment team has done that, you know. But, you know, what I'm doing and, and the feedback that I'm getting, we're we're learning too, is that. You know, I just make sure that I stay with the the questions, and I just go, okay, question number three. You know, and then that's 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 how he just starts and stops. Oh, so you do just, use the question. Yeah, and I'll just say, you know, you know, question number three is is you know, there's a lot of people, and then so you just go in, you know, you, that way you create a nice delineation point, and mm -hmm. then what we do is we just the bumper video, the bumpers that we use is just the quick intro in the beginning, so we just cut off that that intro in the beginning of the video. And we use that for all five of the FAQs, you know. Uh, so I'm so I'm in, so I'm introducing the client, and then that's the intro for all five FAQs. And then at the end, we have an outro that's short, and, and that way, you know, we're just using the same intro and outro for every single video that we create. Perfect. That's actually a lot of information which I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. So it, it just makes it it makes it just you know we want to make this as easy and as simple and as systematic as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, just perfect. All right, sounds good. I think we're going to wrap up here for today. This is a lot of great information, and then we'll communicate about doing the next call with you here shortly. I want to talk okay. to Craig and get some stuff implemented. Sounds good. Rock and roll. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you.